Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back with the next review of the Fangoria Challenge. This time, Jason and I watched The Evil Within, also known as Baby Blood. The Evil Within, or Baby Blood, is a 1990 horror film, and according to Fangoria, it's one of the 101 best horror movies you've never seen. As you can see, it's listed in the book under the title The Evil Within, aka Baby Blood. This Anchor Bay DVD release is the fully restored, uncut version of the film, under the title Baby Blood. It did come with this chapter index card with the original cover and original title. The Evil Within. I actually have a VHS copy coming to me in the mail, and I was going to wait to film this review until it arrived. But I can't stop thinking about this movie, so I wanted to talk about it now. The Evil Within, or Baby Blood, is, in a way, a demonic slasher film, in the same way that Hellraiser can be considered a slasher. Let me explain. A woman named Yanka works as a circus performer and she's physically and even sexually abused by her boss. One night, she is literally raped and impregnated by a demonic parasite. Now, with child, she escapes her life at the circus and goes off on her own. She's not really alone, though. The evil within speaks to her. And by speaks, I mean literally speaks. It reminds me somewhat of the demonic voice in The Exorcist. I believe Jason took a shot at doing the voice in his review. Yanka's baby, or the evil within, demands blood. Baby blood. Get it? No, not the blood of a baby, but blood for the baby. Yanka must find victims to satisfy her baby's hunger. Or is it thirst? Either way, she acts as the Julia from Hellraiser, finding male victims to kill them and drink their blood. With each victim, the baby grows larger and stronger and more powerful. Yanka really has no say in the matter because the evil within controls her. Her baby can literally cause her physical pain at will. But ultimately, the two need each other. To survive. When Yanka's baby is eventually born, he, or it, plans to rule the world. The evil within's ultimate goal is to replace humankind. Yanka's <clears throat> portal shall act as a portal for the evil within. Baby Blood, in its uncut form, is a gory masterpiece. The kills are brutal, and fittingly, bloody. Yanka's baby's voice is so damn creepy. I love it. Yanka herself, however, is nice to look at, with the exception of one minor flaw. But hey, no one's perfect, right? As a bonus, she spends a good chunk of screen time completely naked. There are scenes when she literally spends minutes walking and running around full frontal nude. The evil within is filled with blood, boobs, buns, and bush. If that doesn't entice you, I'm not sure what will. One last thing worth mentioning. Despite being a 1990 horror film, The Evil Within, to me anyway, feels more like a mid to late 80s horror movie. But no matter the decade, The Evil Within, aka Baby Blood, is one of the 101 best horror movies you've never seen. I absolutely cannot recommend this one enough. Check it out. And if baby blood sounds like something you'd like, you might also enjoy The Unborn. The Unborn was released one year after The Evil Within, in 1991. In the simplest terms, this one also deals with a nightmarish pregnancy. And the movie features a very young Phoebe Buffet, or Lisa Kudrow. The Unborn was remade in 2009, but I can't say I've seen that one. But I certainly have seen Baby Blood, 
or known in this Fangoria book as The Evil Within. Have you? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. And of course, please be sure to check out Jason's review. What will we watch next for the Fangoria Challenge? Check back soon to find out. Thanks for watching guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe.